Hello, I'm Elizabeth. I'm Kim. I'm Kezia. I'm Kavi. And we are a crowdfunding team preparing a project to research biodiversity of beetles in Patagonia. Patagonia is located in southern Chile and Argentina. It's teeming with ancient forests, impressive glaciers, and unique wildlife. The mysterious land is so difficult to access because of its ice shields and strong winds, but it's still attracted explorers and naturalists for centuries. Who discovered Patagonia? In 1520, Hernando de Magallanes, an explorer that it was circumnavigating the earth, saw some big tall Indians and he called them Paragon, Bigfoot, the Tehuelches. Centuries later, uh, a young Charles Darwin was also attracted by this land and he collected several fossils when aboard of the Beagle. What about Patagonia wildlife? Uh, Patagonia is enriched by flora and fauna not found anywhere else in the planet and is in, in danger of vanishing. Why beetles? From about 1.2 million species described already, 80% of those are insects. Our insects are critical in our ecosystems. And from all the insects, 40% are beetles. Beetles is a mega diversified group that has their wings hardened to protect their body. They have different shapes, colors, and forms. And also Charles Darwin was attracted and collecting beetles. Who are we? We are entomologists and arachnologists that have conducted fieldwork in southern Chile and Argentina. These collections have been processed and are housed in the Museo Nacional de Historia Natural in Santiago, the ASIC Museum of Entomology, and, the, and many other biological collections. What is the problem that Patagonia is facing? Several agencies have proposed to build five dams in Chile's rivers. The destructions of forests and rivers, relocation of people, would result in a loss in biodiversity. The Patagonia Dam proposal would build, six, would build on 6,000 hectare acres and put an electrical line on 2,000 kilometers from rivers to Santiago. Who has been working in the past to protect Patagonia from destructive development? Chilean and international agencies and community groups such as the Patagonian Defense Council, with whom the assistance the Chilean authorities have managed to stop this proposal back in 2014. But today, the agencies are strongly insisting to move forward with this multi-million megadan construction. So what do we want to do? It's highly expensive to fund an expedition to Patagonia. So first, we need to finance our collecting gear. Then we plan our trip and we train the students that will go along. What can you do? To start our project, we need to get the year to explore and collect beetle and spider of Patagonia. Our findings would be a strong element to add to the multiple efforts protecting this land from destruction. With your donation, we can conserve this land of nature and represent its fauna in worldwide biological collections. So we need your help. Please donate today so we can have a Patagonia tomorrow.